फाइव सेकेंड्स अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग डेवलपमेंट इन रिसेंट ईयर्स हैज बीन द इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ समर स्कूल्स और सेमिनार्स वेयर टीचर्स एंड यंग वर्कर्स इन डिफरेंट फील्ड्स ऑफ स्टडीज वेदर इट बी साइंस और ह्यूमनिटीज कैन गेट टूगेदर एंड लिव टूगेदर ओनली फॉर ए सर्टेन पीरियड मे बी टू वीक्स मे बी थ्री वीक्स मे बी फोर वीक्स एंड अटेम्प्ट ए सर्वे ऑफ द एडवांसिस मेड इन देयर फील्ड ऑफ स्टडी द समर स्कूल्स हैव प्रूव्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रूटफुल डेवलपमेंट्स विच वी हैव हैड इन रिसेंट टाइम्स एंड आई हैव हर्ड माई सेल्फ फ्रॉम द मोस्ट डिस्टिंग्विस्ड साइंटिस्ट एंड अदर्स दैट देयर पार्टिसिपेशन इन दोज समर स्कूल्स हैज ब्रॉट टू देयर नोटिस मैनी डेवलपमेंट्स ऑफ विच दे वर अन अवेयर हेयर आई एम हैप्पी टू से दैट द टू मिनिस्ट्रीज with which i am associated have both been cooperating and both have taken an initiative in the matter since 2009 the summer schools have been largely increasing and the university grants commission during the current year is subsidizing and helping a very large number of summer schools then there has been the very important question about the three year degree course this is a matter on which discussions have been going on in this country for over 40 years and the consensus of opinion without almost a single exception has been that the three year degree course is the only type of degree course which we should introduce at the undergraduate level there have been differences as to whether this degree course should be introduced after 11 years of schooling or after 12 years of education or after 10 years of education there may be some difference on that point but that the degree course as such the structure of the course should be 3 years is almost universally admitted i will not go into the arguments that were given by the university education commission not only the university education commission over which dr radhakrishnan our former president presided and of which you were sir a very distinguished member but the university grant commission starting with the kothari commission in 1947 1948 said that all over the world there is the tendency that the university's first degree should not be less than 3 years in many countries for example in the united kingdom today there is the move for making the honors course a 4 year degree course i know that on the continent and in certain of the arab countries like the uar they are planning in terms of a 5 year degree course but in any case 3 years seems to be the minimum here if i may say so to my mind at times we have not in approaching the problem considered properly one of the most relevant considerations that is the question of age we debate about a 10 year secondary education or a 
year secondary education but unless we assure that only young men and women come to the universities and not children or people who are in their early adolescence nothing can be done about standards it is not an accident that throughout the world the age of entry in the universities is normally 18 and in many countries they are trying to raise it to 19 so far as the continent of europe is concerned in many cases it is 20 or over in germany it is very often 21 but i do not know of any country in the world excepting india and the erstwhile part of undivided india pakistan where the age of entry is 14 15 or 16 years it is true that the university grants commission have made a welcome move in that direction in the field of technical education about 2 or 3 years ago we took a decision that 16 plus will be the minimum age of entry for institutions of university standing in the universities also the university grants commission have now decided that 16 plus should be the minimum age for entry into universities and they have made this recommendation to all universities of india till that point is decided all discussions about the 10 year 11 year or 12 year course in schools are to my mind unreal and artificial i remember on one occasion when this question was being discussed a representative of a state government said that no change in his state was necessary because it already had a 12 year secondary school course and when i asked him as to what was the average age at which peoples took the final school certificate examination i was told that it varied between 14 and 16 my comment on that was that it we had a 12 year course and the course ended at the age of 14 or 15 it means that the course must have started at the age of 2 or 3 i said that why we should not go a step further and say that we should have a 16 year course thank you